Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. Uh, I own Advanced Pain Solutions in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, one of the therapies we do that's very popular in this clinic is PEMF, Pulse Electromagnetic Field Therapy. And this is a um, miraculous treatment that has unlimited potential to really heal the body. He heal the body on a cellular level, not just masking pain, not just sort of covering up um, what's wrong by treating symptoms. And we get great results with PEMF therapy, but there is something uh, about PEMF therapy that's never talked about that I want to address, and that is its role in detoxification. So the membranes of your cells have little holes in them, little channels. These are the potassium sodium channels, and these are little holes that allow nutrition to flow back and forth in and out of the cell. And of course, uh, when that works properly, the cell can get nutrition, and more importantly, the cell can get rid of the toxins that accumulate inside. So it's just a waste removal system, and that's a normal part of a healthy functioning cell. When we're exposed to toxins, uh, specifically heavy metals, these, um, these, these elements get caught or trapped in the channels, and they block the channels. And when this happens, the cell no longer has a method of uh, removing waste. So you get this um, very toxic environment inside the cell that ultimately leads to cellular death. It leads to malfunction of the mitochondria of the cell. The cell cannot make any energy and the cell just starts to deteriorate. And um, it's my, my understanding and my belief that this is the cause of most all degenerative disease. Even something simple like arthritis is a reflection of the cell's inability to, to remove waste products. And so when we have toxins, again, specifically heavy metals, these things can prevent that normal um, removal of, of waste in, in the cell. Pulse electromagnetic field therapy has the ability to basically shake the cell. And um, in, in the process of doing that, it frees those channels, those sodium potassium channels from toxins. So those toxins that are blocking the channel are removed and the cell can now naturally perform its function. It can take in nutrition and it can also uh, eliminate waste products, which restores health to the cell so the cell can go on to heal or, or do whatever task we want it to do. So this is an extraordinary um, mechanism that we can utilize with PEMF. What's never discussed is what happens once those toxins are removed from those channels. Uh, they're released into the bloodstream where in, in a normally healthy person, those toxins should be broken down through the detoxification pathways, you know, using the liver, the kidneys, the bowels, sweat. They should be removed. But unfortunately, most people that are already suffering from uh, toxins and heavy metal poisonings, most of those people don't have healthy functioning detoxification pathways. So when we use PMF therapy, we remove those toxins out of those channels and they're put into the bloodstream. And if the patient can break those down and get rid of them, those toxins can uh, redistribute to other tissues and can make the patient very sick. In fact, we see that. Uh, we see really sick people doing PEMF therapy, high dosages of high intensity PEMF therapy and we see side effects, we see brain fog, we see anxiety, we see shortness of breath, uh, ear hunger, headaches, nausea. I mean, we see all rapid heartbeat, increased blood pressure, you know, all the things that would normally be associated with poisoning, really, we see in those patients. So it's really important that if we're gonna utilize PEMF therapy, we have to make sure that the patient is, has the ability to detoxify those elements once we free them from those cellular membrane channels. And uh, we have to support the detox pathways in PEMF patients, in PEMF, in patients that are getting pulse electromagnetic field therapy. It's essential. In my clinic, uh, I find a product called SP Balance Detox. These are shakes. The patient will have one to three shakes a day during the first 10 days of their PEMF uh, therapy. These, have, these shakes have all of the necess necessary elements to, to support the detoxification pathways. And they also have um, some binders. Now binders are also essential. So you have to support the detox pathway, but you also need these things called binders to, that basically will soak up the toxins once they're released from the cellular membrane. 
So a binder would be something like uh, activated charcoal, uh, apple pectin, um, chlorophyll. There's a lot of different binders. And what these do is, is they basically provide a big surface area so that when the PMF therapy shakes the toxins out of the cellular membrane, they're bound to the binder and then they can be easily eliminated in the bowels. So, you know, I would recommend that anybody doing PEMF therapy, especially if you're sick, I mean, the sicker you are, the more you need to do this uh, supplementation, this, this, um, the sicker you are, the more you need to really make sure that you're doing uh, this sort of accessory treatments along with your PEMF. Um, you want to definitely be taking a binder prior to doing your uh, pulse electromagnetic field therapy. And you're also going to want to make sure that you're supporting the detoxification pathways properly. We also know that heavy metals and toxins deplete the body of minerals. Um, and there's a common mineral, which is zinc, that uh, universally gets depleted in almost every case of heavy metal toxicity, regardless of if it's arsenic, mercury, lead, doesn't seem to matter. Zinc is one of the primary minerals that are depleted. So we want to make sure that patients are taking a good mineral supplement to make sure that they don't get overly depleted. Hydration is very important in uh, detoxification, of course. It makes sense. You know, the more you urinate, the more you get rid of waste. Uh, but PMF therapy also has a very strong ability to dehydrate the cell. You remember, we're using this, this high-intensity magnetic field to pulse the cell and basically to shake the cell. And as a result of that, especially when those channels get opened, we dehydrate the cell. So you're really going to want to, if you're doing PMF therapy, make sure that you're taking in large amounts of fluids. I mean, an average recommendation is 64 ounces of water a day, but a, a person that's pulsing or a person that's going through pulse electromagnetic field therapy is going to want to take even more than that. You're going to want to make sure that not only are you taking in water, but you're getting enough salt and sugar. So in this particular case, it's not a bad idea even to have something I hate to say it because I know there's going to be a lot of critics of this, but even something like Gatorade, you know, where you're getting salt and sugar to replace the dehydration. You got to think of it um, like you're an athlete, you know, going into this athletic event when you pulse because that's what's happening and you need to support it accordingly. PEMF therapy has unlimited potential to help the patient, but we have to make sure that we're supporting the patient so that their body can use the, the therapy in the right way so they can heal. And that's what this is all about. PEMF therapy is not a um, treatment that heals anything specifically. It's simply a modality that makes your body healthier, makes your cells function healthier. And a healthy cell is going to heal quicker and perform its job of you know, innately healing the body. And that's what this is about. This is about making your body healthier so you can get better, not about treating any specific disease. You know, there's a lot of research out there that suggests that all of these uh, neurodegenerative diseases like ALS, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, a lot of these are uh, caused by auto intoxication, which means that the, the brain tissue is unable to remove accumulated waste. And as a result of that, the waste builds up inside the cellular membrane and the cell begins to malfunction. And this is a, um, this is a problem that has been, has been you know, recognized. And PEMF therapy has a huge potential to correct this. By allowing the cellular membrane to be free of any toxins so that those channels are open so the cell can get rid of its waste products and heal. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please um, you know, spread the word. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me. Thank you.